Hey, what's going on guys? Carter here. Uh, long time no see. I am coming out of retirement briefly to bring you this knife sale video. Don't have time to go into why I quit making videos and why that will probably uh, be the case from here on out, although you never know. But uh, I do need to sell some stuff. I know a lot of you longtime subscribers hate seeing videos like this uh, for people just peddling their wares um, instead of doing new content, but it is what it is. Um, this is, to be honest, my best outlet for selling things. I've tried selling things on Instagram uh, with limited success. I mean, great people. I just I don't have the same audience on there as I do here. So to serve me the best and to serve you the best to give you uh, good deals on knives, it's best to do it here. So let's let's go forward with this sale video. Uh, PayPal is the payment choice. Uh, prices include shipping within the U.S. Prices are net me, so that means uh, PayPal gift, friends and family, or plus 3% on there. First person to say I'll take it gets it. Um, my email will be down below in the description box. Send me, um, you know, if you want anything here, tell me through there. Don't leave a comment. Uh, send me an email or if you have any questions. So, let's go. Let's move. Come on. Uh, up first we have a Northwoods Knives Madison Barlow clip point. So it's very similar to this, only it has a clip point blade. Uh, this is in Elephant Ivory. So I'm asking 300 net me shipped on this. Elephant Ivory is not something you can just get anymore. In fact, it's pretty much impossible now. It used to be you could get it uh, as long as it was pre-ban. So um, obviously new ivory was illegal. But if it was old ivory, meaning somebody had maybe a tusk in their collection from before it was illegal, you could still buy that and use it and make knives like this um, and sell them. But now you can't even do that anymore. So real elephant ivory is, you know, pretty much impossible to get from this point out. So 300 on this, brand new in baggy, comes with a little leather sheath. Very, very nice, beautiful knife. Another traditional, we have a Tidiute Lumberjack by Great Eastern Cutlery. Brand new, never used. I believe I have the tube for this, although I can't be 100% certain. Uh, so if you're interested in any of these and the box, which I try to keep all my boxes, um, it's just I have two kids, a wife, crazy, crazy life, so things get lost and misplaced. Uh, so if that's a deal breaker to have the box or the tube, uh, you know, let me know when you tell me that you want something and I can double check that I do or don't have it um, before we consider it a, a sale. Uh, so this uh, has the half stop right there. Just beautiful, perfect. It's just been sitting in my safe. I believe this is primitive bone handle. Very, very nice knife. Here is my Whaler jigged bone handle. Uh, similar giant blade, even bigger than the uh, Lumberjack. No half stop on this one. Uh, both these have, all of these, all the uh, GECs and Northwoods have uh, high carbon steel blades. This one has two blades. So of course the uh, main one there and then your smaller blade right there. Just a huge, beefy, awesome knife right there. Here's another uh, Barlow. Northwood Knives Barlow. Brand new. Has a half stop. And this one is uh, Mammoth Ivory. Really beautiful Mammoth Ivory right there. 200 shipped on this one. Oh, I didn't tell you price on these. 100 each um, on these right here. So that's about 50, 60 bucks off retail uh, right there. 100 bucks each of these, 300, 200, all net me. Uh, here is my H&K Epidemic, I believe it's called. Out the front, double action. D2 steel blade, aluminum handle, carried a couple times, it has one little small scuff on the pocket clip right there. Other than that, it is pristine, perfect condition. Price on that one is um, 130 on this guy right here. These go for about 200 bucks, brand new, so nice uh, reduction in price there. Here is my Fremont Jack. Uh, Northwood Knives Fremont Jack half stop has the blued bone handle right there. 
Really love this thing. Perfectly centered. Um, nice pull on it. It's not heavy at all. You can easily just not even use the uh, thumb ramp right there. Just pull it right open. Very, very nice. Warncliffe blade. Really like this one. So if it doesn't sell, no big deal. 100 bucks shipped on there, net me. Here is a custom Mikov with a Damasteel Damascus blade. It's a stainless steel Damascus. Right there, it's got uh, spine work, spine milling work on uh, the back. Has uh, blonde horn handles, scales right there, and double bolsters. Fires really hard. Oops. Fires really hard into my tripod. That didn't do a single thing to it. Very nice. 300 on this. Let's get a close up of this blade if we can get a focus here. Raindrop pattern Damascus. Really nice. So 300 net me shipped on uh, the Mikov here. Protec Rock Eye. I believe it is uh, D2 Steel. Yep, D2 Steel. Designed by Les George. This is the limited first run, number 294 of 400. Fires really hard. Carried a couple of times. Um, 130 on this. These go for 200 retail. Which I'm not sure if you can even get these right now. <clears throat> This one has the uh, knurling on the handle instead of the all smooth handle so it kind of has a bolstered look to it. Very nice. Here is a little piranha. Now well, that's actually uh, one of the bigger piranhas. I forget the model name on this, sorry guys. S30V steel. It's got kind of a dagger blade. Aluminum handle, per usual. Uh, 100 bucks on this one. It's a nice little snappy auto and of course I have videos on all these knives guys so if you ever want any more in-depth info on there um, just look through my videos with the search and uh, I've got tons and tons of rambling about each and every one of these here is an AGA Campolin stiletto Maltese crossed bolsters hundred bucks shipped on this one also have a video on this of course stag handles um, I'm not going to go into detail with uh, Italian stilettos, but uh, they're handmade. They're not uh, not the same as these precision machine-made, or well, these aren't, but you know, precision machine-made knives. Um, so you're going to get play in the blade. Um, you know, there's always going to be. They're just they're different. So I'll leave it at that. I, I do have other videos talking more at length about uh, handmade stiletto knives. Uh, Hundred bucks shipped on. This cool little auto right there, back lock, as you can see. Last but not least, we have a ZT300, carried maybe twice. This is the black wash, right there. 175 shipped on this, guys. Net me, perfect lockup. It's got the assist in it. Very, very cool. All right, so that's it. This is what I have for sale. Um, let me know if you're interested. Send me an email or any questions or just say, hey, what's up? Um, I will uh, maybe talk to you guys later. Bye.